Man, early ice walleyes. There is nothing as fun as these guys right here. I'm gonna let that one go back down the hole. But you know what? I am at one of our premier early ice destinations, a place we all race to get to because it's full of hungry, biting fish, Red Lake, Minnesota. It's early ice and I'm sitting on one of my favorite places to ice fish. In fact, it's probably one of the most popular because it's one of the most productive places to catch early season walleyes, Red Lake, Minnesota. I mean, there is nothing like this place. It's absolutely incredible early season. Again, if you've never done it and you want to get up here, it's definitely on the ice fisherman's bucket to-do list because it's a very, very fun place to fish because these fish are fairly cooperative once you get out on the ice. The challenge of this is is where these fish are. Now, Red Lake's a massive body of water. We're limited to where we can fish um, along uh, certain areas of the, of the lake, but really because of the fact that these fish will spread out along big, large, shallow flats. So most of the guys are out here fishing anywhere from 5 to 10, 11, 12, even 13 feet of water. And they're not really targeting, or we're not really targeting any specific structure. Like we're not on a weed edge, we're not on the edges of rocks. Um, most of what it is, is is these big shallow flats and these fish are roaming these flats and we're trying to make contact with them. Now there's a couple different ways you can go about that in terms of technique. You can hole hop, you can drill lots of holes and keep moving and try to stumble into the fish or you can camp out and find an area that is a little bit productive and wait for some fish to come through there because they will travel along certain routes. Now today's a little windy so we've camped out here in one specific spot. But in all my years of fishing Red Lake, early ice for walleyes, there's a couple of tips and tricks that will help you spend your time here just that much more productive. So let's go through how I make my rigging that species specific, Red Lake specific for the, for the, uh, the approach in terms of tackle choices and rods and reels. Now a lot of places I'll jig and I will use a dead stick. And nowhere is it more appropriate than here on Red Lake because there's, there's a lot of times that you're Oh, there's a fish right there. That's why we come to Red Lake. Because <laughs> when you're standing there talking, something comes up and eats your bait. Let me see right at that scene. Oh! That is it. But look at this guy. See? <laughs> His early season walleye fishing. We're going to put him down here with the rest. Because we're going to go home and have ourselves a little fish fry here tonight. It's, it's a lot of fun. But... One of my favorite search lures is the swimming lure here. This is the Puppet Minnow. Uh, absolutely a phenomenal uh, a lure, and it doesn't make a difference if you're fishing for walleyes, crappies, perch, what have you. The Puppet Minnow gets it done. Drop it down there, and of course, it's swimming around down there, making contact with these fish. Now, this center hook, you can you can tip with a, a piece of plastic or a minnow head or, or, or fish it plain, because the action of these action jigs is really what's getting these fish to bite. Puppet Minnow, a great choice. A couple others are, are buckshot rattle spoons that we have here. This is another uh, tried and true favorite. That rattle inside that brass chamber is going to call those fish in. The glow shot spoon right there with that immensing that, that uh, light and the fabulous bait, especially the fact it drops just a little bit slower than the buckshot spoon. So it's going to fall a little slower, get a little fish that are just a little bit more lethargic. And finally, this rip and chat is absolutely awesome. The fact that it emits as much noise as it does with this built in rattle noise in there absolutely fabulous fabulous bait to for and attracting these fish because what you gotta remember what we're trying to do out here is because it, we're fishing a big flat and it's fairly stained water is you're trying to get the fish's attention and get them into you there's other anglers out here but most importantly these fish are just out on a big flat area and you want to do everything you can to call them that much closer to you because part of the job of these is to call these fish in to your stationary rod or your dead stick here this is a, a great option now on the end of the dead stick my hands down fabulous favorite right now is this glow shot jig the fact that it has that glow shot chamber inside there emitting that light is fabulous on red lake it is a game changer on red lake because that fact 
put that with a, uh, a full minnow down there or a forage minnow jig, another great option. A little bit more subtle, maybe the fish are just a little bit finickier. Drop down in size, go to that forage minnow jig. No matter how you rig it up, hit Red Lake with a one-two punch. Get aggressive with one rod, use your second rod stationary, and you are sure to capitalize on one of the best walleye fisheries in all of North America. There he is, another one. <laughs> It's just so much fun when <laughs> these guys. Ho, 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 ho. He says, come on. Nice. Look at that. Gotta love it when the plan comes together. <laughs> Red Lake Walleyes <laughs> love their puppet minnows. Hey, if you like these videos, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. There we go. Now that's what I'm talking about, baby. Big old walleyes. Look at that right there.